Nick Space Awards Top 20 Anime Theme Challenge, I did my best to recreate a cyborg slash android from Ghost in the Shell. Given that I'm not an anime buff, I decided to create my own storyline, but do my best to recreate in real life the amazing artistry from this reference photo from the show. I tried to do the more literal human-esque version, as if the anime world was brought to life without the screen. Don't forget, voting is open now June 17th until June 24th. You can vote three times per email per day. Head over to nickspacewords.com and cast your votes. If you vote for me, I will be eternally grateful. Stay tuned to the end of the video for more voting details, and let's get started on the tutorial. For my base, I started by mixing the NYX White Pro Foundation Mixer with a water-activated white body paint. I first laid it down on my face with a large flat brush and then stippled it onto my skin to make a more even and flawless finish with a dampened beauty sponge. For a really opaque finish, use just a little bit of water, but mix the paint until it's a very creamy consistency. After making sure that my base was even and fully covering my entire face up to my hairline, I used a thin layer of the NYX HD white finishing powder to set my entire face. Then using a small detailed brush and some NYX Epic Black Mousse Liner, I drew thin straight lines in a robotic pattern that matches the reference photo. You'll see me looking at the photo every so often to make sure that the placement is correct on my face. Uh, sometimes lines are really hard to make straight, especially when working on a face. It's got bumps and grooves and it's not perfectly flat. What makes it easier for me is realizing that I know how to draw straight lines. I can draw them on paper, so I can draw them on my face. After initially drawing the lines with confidence, make sure you use confident, straight, flat strokes. I then retrace each line with a darker black. For this, I use the NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner. After the lines on my face are drawn, black and dry, I took a dense blending brush and a very light dusting of the NYX Hot Black Eyeshadow and blended over the edges of the lines that I made. This just softens the lines and gives them dimension. After softening the lines, I really couldn't see where this was going. I wasn't really happy with the way that it was turning out and I needed a little inspiration. So sometimes I have to jump around because I'm feeling that it isn't coming together. With this look, adding the wing liner made me realize that once the beauty element was back into the look and the striking eyes were added, I liked where this was going. Then using the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and my reference photo, I draw the robotic spine and then outline the muscle fibers that I will be painting on later. It's nice to use a product that's creamy like this so that when you make a mistake, as we all do, you can easily wipe it away right into your skin. And if your skin tone differs from mine, there are a lot of different shades of this, um, or you can use eyeliner. Then using the same mixture as earlier, the NYX Pro Foundation Mixer in white and the water activated body paint, I fill in all of the skeletal areas where it, there should be solid white. I also paint my ears. You don't want to forget a step like that. It really just pulls the entire thing in together and makes it look more realistic. Using the same water activated paints, I start with a deep red while outlining the outside of each muscle section and lightly filling it in. When drawing these muscle fibers, layering is key. Initially, when you start to make the streaks for the muscles, it looks very artificial and unrealistic. If you continue layering, and layering is the most important word when it comes to all of this, you wanna layer red, white, black, red, white, black, over and over and over, and it will really start to build up the individual striations in the muscles. Each muscle structure has a highlighted center and a deeper outer portion and a darker at the base and the top. So you'll see where I'm shading is towards the outer portion and right underneath each muscle section. You can also see which one is supposed to lay on top of the other. With that, make sure that there's a shadow being cast over the muscle that would be underneath. This took some time and playing. This is why I did one side off camera and the other side on camera because I needed to test out one side and make my mistakes so that with this second side, I could be more confident in showing you how to do it. This is the first time I had ever made muscles on my own body, but I found it actually quite simple 
because as long as you follow the correct techniques by keeping the center lighter and the outer sections deeper and building up over and over and over, there's really no way you can fail. It's literally just lines. Remember it that way. After you've done the deeper colors, taking a white body paint and using a brush that has actual fluffy fibers on it, it really helps to make those individual striations of the muscles without you having to draw in each individual line. Then taking more of that hot black shadow, really, really shading. Shading is what makes it look more realistic. If you just added it with the way that it was without any of the shading, it takes away any realism and makes it look flat and one dimensional. Then I took some black body paint and deepened up some of the shading and added the outfit outline along the edges of the white paint. Also deepening in any areas that I want to appear hollow. I then did the same exact technique for the muscle fibers on my chest. I sped this up because I don't feel it's very important for you to learn how to do the same muscle structure a million times over. The same thing applies to the chest as it did to the face. Lots of shading, lots of highlighting, and lots of layering. Painting on your body is a little bit difficult. I do find that there's a quite a bit of transferring, especially because I'm right-handed, so painting on my left side is easy, but painting with my left hand on my right side, very difficult. You'll see it's not nearly as crisp, but I did my best. Using a fluffier brush and the NYX Hot Black Shadow, using a light hand, I dusted it all over the edges of the white skeletal bone structure. This gives a raised and curved effect to each bone. And I also used the Hot Black to shade the spinal section and some of the NYX Matte White Liquid Liner to highlight the bone. To finish off my eyes, I put in a pair of pink mini sclera contact lenses to make the iris of my eye larger as animes usually are and I double stacked a pair of fluffy lashes and put on some mascara. And to add dimension to my face, I continue the beauty element by taking the same fluffy brush as earlier and some more of that hot black shadow and contour along my cheekbones, forehead, on my lips, contour my nose, and around my eyes. And I also added some of that black shadow to my crease. If you are interested, for my background, I took a black backdrop, white yarn, and tacks. I realized that white yarn glows really brightly in black light, so it makes a really cool futuristic circuit board effect. And that's it, my friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this realistic take on the musculoskeletal robotic ghost in the shell inspired android slash cyborg. Whew, that was a mouthful. I really, really enjoyed making this for you. It really pushed me, and this was a true challenge for me as somebody who hasn't watched much anime in her life. All right, don't forget, my friends, voting is now open. June 17th until June 24th. You can vote three times per email per day. I wanna make it to the top 12 more than you could ever know. More than I can express in words. So your votes would mean the world to me. I can't make it without your help, so please share with your friends and vote as often as you can. Keep an eye out, bloopers video will be coming soon and there's a lot of outtakes. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on the fun. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for voting and I will see you at my next video.